Hello and welcome to a new video and a new project in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to start a contact management project that it may become a CRM, a very simple CRM, but at the beginning it will be just a place to store our contact and this has a lot of possibilities. I could sync up with Google Contact, I could sync up with Gmail, uh, with Calendar, so I think it will be a Google App Script heavy project. It will be a kind of a crude system where I can easily add, read, delete, and update customers or contacts or lead. So let's begin. So as always, first I will, I'm going to need the database where I'm going to keep my records and then we can see how we're going to add them up. Let's choose first which is going to be our main ID or our main key. And I think the email may work well in this case especially because this is also the key in Google Contact. So I think this may work well. So let's say our email is going to be our first field. Then we can have first name, last name, maybe a phone number, address. I don't know if address may be one, maybe country or city, if you prefer. Some comments. And I think this could start to we can customize it however we want company maybe date of birth there are a lot of a lot of things we could customize here i will try to leave this as formula free as possible so that we can later on decide how we're going to fill this up we can normally fill up databases and sheet in many ways ones that we can fill the fields directly here we can add a google form with these same questions we could have an html form we could have a sidebar we could have we could integrate with app sheet we could have i think this last way where we could have a, another sheet that it's a kind of a form or built in the same google sheet and we could add it from there i think this is the way we're going to go in this in this first attempt then may we may try to do it with html forms or with app sheet or something like that but at the beginning we're going to start with a form in google sheet so um maybe i will have some validations here but i'm not going to put many formulas but it, it is nice to have some validations some drop downs so that even if i do it in an outside software in forms or in or with a script that if I want to change something manually and come here and the administrator wants to change the phone number very easily, I could do it, not necessarily having to resort to, to my form. So I'm just going to try to add some simple data validations. So here I'm going to add a text data validation that is a valid email. I'm not going to reject the input, just show the warning if it's not a valid email. First name and last name, I'm going to leave it as is. The same with the phone number, the company, the country, the city, and the comments. We're just going to validate the email for now. So let's select all of our column and give it Control D just to duplicate the data validation. And check it here that if I put something that is not an email, it's going to warn me that it's not a valid email address. Okay. Okay, so let's input some sample data very quickly. So I can have a first validation here for our countries, but I don't want to restrict it. I wanted to leave it open that if someone I meet someone from Mexico, then I can put here Mexico and it doesn't restrict or adding new countries for this here in my countries I'm going to just do an, an array from here up to F and then I'm just going to select all these cells and do a data validation From a range, the range will be this one. A2 up to A. Let's leave it open. 
we're not going to reject. That's it. Let's save. Let's go here. And you can see that I have my four countries, but if I, but I can, I have the option to write Mexico down and it will automatically come here to my list. And now once I write Mexico for the next re uh, record, I can add also Mexico. Okay. The same I can do with my cities. I'm not going to do a dependent drop down right now. It may be a bit more complicated. It's not that complicated, but for now, we're just going to do the same for my cities, not being dependent of the country. But in the future, it, it, it's not that hard to do that. If we select Colombia, then it just brings me the cities uh, from Colombia. So let's do for now, let's do the same, just an array here that starts in G2 and goes goes up to G. Let's close it and let's do a data validation. Let's select all these cells. Right click, view more selections, data validation. These from a range. The range will be here in my list. Starts on P2 and goes up to B. Okay. Let's not reject it. Save. And again, I can choose from the ones I already have, but if I put Mexico again, it will add it automatically to my cities. And then the next time I have Mexico in my list. Okay. So this is the first thing I wanted to do. I wanted to set up my database. I can add a bit more color, just format it a bit. We can, for the moment, remove all these columns. We control alt minus. And if you want, you can remove also some rows if you prefer. And I like always to freeze my first row here so that when we have a lot of records, it's easy to never lose sight of to, to what refers each column. And we may also want to freeze the first column so that when we have a lot of columns, we could also go to the right and never lose sight of which contact I'm looking at. So the next thing I'm going to do is to do a kind of a detail page where I can see in a better manner my contacts. And this will work in the future as an input form. So I'm going to call these my contacts base, contact base, maybe. And here are the details. So what I want to do here is to, to be able to choose my email and then bring down all the, all the info I want from that record. So email, the email will be a drop down. Again, a data validation list from a range. It will be, we will start in contact base A2 and go up to A. We could reject it, but I prefer to just show the warning. It will work. It will be useful in the future. So here I can choose from my emails. And what I want is that once I choose from my emails, I bring this information as I want. So I'm going to copy this here and maybe reorder it a bit. Maybe I could merge this. I'm not a big fan of merging, but let's do it for this case. And what I want to do is once I choose one of these, then that this fills out automatic. So I'm going to do a simple VLOOKUP. We're going to look for this in our contact base. I'm going to choose on my table and I'm going to fix it with F4. And then I'm going to say in which column, given that we're talking about the first name, it's going to be column two and then zero for exact match for making our life easier and not to having to change the column manually for it for every, every one of these we're going to have here another similar function to VLOOKUP that is called match what match is going to do is to look for this first name in this first row it's very important that the columns, the number of columns match for the VLOOKUP and the match. So what, and again, a zero at the end for exact match. And what this is going to do is to look for the name, first name, and then see in this row where first name is located. So it will say, okay, it's the column two. And then I don't have to do this manually. I'll just 
freeze this and let's press enter and it brings the name I want. I'm going to freeze this also because we will always refer to our email and leave it as is for the moment. And let's drag it down. And you can see that it brings everything I need. Let's add Jane a phone number, a company and some comments just to know that this is working. Jane, Jane here. Let's see, and here you can see that it brings everything and I just need to copy this to country and city. I don't know. If, I think it will work the same. Yes, it works perfectly. So as you see, it's a nice practice to think very well of your formulas beforehand so that you can then copy and paste them and it will work all the time. Oh, it depends on your project. It depends on if you're going to drag it down or to the right, but it's a good practice. Okay. So I would like to add some, it, it may be a quirk of mine, but that I like is that it can be nice. For example, let's say that all of these are from Cologne or from both. It, it may be nice to have uh, some relation with other contacts. For example, I want to know in, in this same detail, could be nice to know what other people live in Colombia. Or for example, if I have a hobby, I like to, to hike or to play tennis. I could have here another column that uh, is hobbies. And you know that this like tennis, this likes tennis and this likes movies and this likes books and this one likes to hike. So maybe I want to know which, with which friend or which contact I want to go to the movies or to give them for a gift. I'm at the library and to see which of my contacts like books so I can bring books to them. I don't know. It's just an idea. But here we could group and say, for example, other contacts living in this country or in this city. This could be nice. Could be a nice addition or knowing other people in the same company, other people in the same country, other people in the same with the same hobbies. Uh, I don't know. So we can do this in a number of ways. It could, we could do this with a filter, with a query function. I love my query, so, so, so I will do it with a query. Query, query. Okay. So let's do a query from our contact base. A1 and go to our column I without an ending row. So what, what my query, what I do in a, in a query function is to select which columns I want to show. In this case, I may just want to know the email, the, the, the first and last name, or maybe the email of the people that, that live in the same country. So I may just need A, B, and C. With this is enough for the moment. I don't need to, if I'm going to group by my country, I don't need to repeat that they live in the country. Maybe a comment or, but for the moment we can leave these three. And we're going to put a condition where my country, in this case, my country is the column F is for now. Let's put Colombia. Let's close our double quotation marks and we can close this parenthesis. And we could put that there is an header so that we put here the header also. So this would work great. The only thing is that we need to make sure that this match the country of the current contact. Let's just do that. This one that I haven't put a name to is USA. So we can see two examples of this working. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in my, in my query, I'm going to put another condition instead of Colombia, I'm going to erase this, close my quotation marks. He says we have two texts. This is the first one and this is, or two strings. This is the second one. And we're going to chain them with an ampersand. And this works the same. The only thing is that I don't have any country here. So the last thing missing is that I'm going to go to reference this E5 and then put another ampersand to continue the string or the chain. 
and put it down. So this has to work. Then I'm going to choose another one. It's Colombia, so it brings the other ones from Colombia. Let's choose this one that is USA and it brings USA, but it's bringing also this mark. It's bringing mar mark also. So I'm going to remove mark. So we're going to put this new condition, an and condition, that my email, that is the, the column A, A is not this email. So we can put this is not in many ways. For now, let's just do this different than. And we're going to, again to concatenate with this thing. But given that it's a uh, text, then we should put a single quotation and then close with another single quotation here. And this should work. Okay, so it doesn't bring Mark Thompson. Again, let's bring this one. Mike Flanagan is also from the USA, and the other one from the USA is Mark Thompson. And if I bring here uh, Jane Campion, it'll bring the other ones that also live in Colombia. And I could do also do this for for again for my hobbies, for my companies, and all that. Okay, so I think this is it for now. I think it will start to work in the future. We're going to start to code with AppScript so that this is automatic, and I can from this same form. I could add or modify new contacts and I don't have necessarily to go here to add or move or delete contacts. Okay. So let's just give some format and I need to format this a much better, but I can do this in the next video. So I'm just going to delete some columns to the right for the moment and some rows down for the moment. Let's see, this is my form for now. So I hope you like it. And please let me know how can we improve this project. As always, you can find the template in the Patreon page. And if not, you can just subscribe and hit the notify button to be aware of new videos each week. Thank you so much. See you next time.